Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and today we have a Shadows over Innistrad spoiler for you. And this card was spoiled from a website. It appeared to be a official spoiler given to them by Wizards. However, the page went down relatively quick, which makes me think maybe it was posted too early. Maybe this was actually supposed to be posted next week. I assume that the spoiler season will start on Monday, just by how many weeks out before the pre-release. So perhaps this just hit a little too soon. They realized it took it down. Uh, but regardless, let's talk about this card a little bit. And it is called Brain in a Bottle, at least loosely translated. This was spoiled from a Chinese Simplify card. And you pay two, it's an artifact. Pay one and tap. Put a charge counter on Brain in a Bottle. You may cast an instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on Brain in a Bottle from your hand without paying its mana cost. Or you can pay three and tap, remove X charge counters from Brain in a Bottle, Scry X. So let's talk about this a little bit. First off, let me address the fact that this is not Aether Vile. <laughs> so at first glance, this feels like Aether Vile for sorceries and instants, which is really cool if that was the case. However, that's not really what's going on here. With Aether Vile, you can kind of take it up to where you want it, leave it at that point. It's great for, say, Merfolk decks where you have a lot of two or three drops. You can use your Aether Vile as well as your mana to get a couple creatures out of turn, and it's fantastic. Now, this doesn't work that way. So with this artifact, what happens is the first time I activate it, I'm forced to use a one casting cost instant or sorcery when I activate it. And the next time I'm forced to use two, the next time three, and so on and so forth. So I can't kind of tick it to where I want it and leave it there like either vial. Now I can remove counters with the other ability in scry, so that's important to note. Uh, but at the same time, that just seems like a very slow process. The other thing that makes this probably not as good as Aether Vile, is simply because these instants and sorceries can be countered, unlike the creatures you can put into play with Aether Vile. So if I activate this and play a instant or sorcery, my opponent can counter it because I'm actually casting it. I'm not just magically putting it into play like Aether Vile does with the creatures. Having those two drawbacks makes this uh, not maybe as exciting as it could be, especially at the rare slot. There is some potential for being able to play some sorceries at instant speed with this, and I think maybe in the right commander deck that could be a really cool effect. Other than that, I don't know where else I see this card. Um, the limited environment, obviously it's hard to judge right now because we don't know many cards from Shadows Over Innistrad. Unless there's a lot of cards that support something like this, I really don't see this working well in limited. I mean, the scry abilities interesting but let's face it if you can scry every couple turns with this is that really good enough to take up a slot in your 23 playables probably not and as far as other constructed formats go don't really see a place for this in standard right now again without knowing what's in shadows over in Estrad. and i just think it's a little too slow and clunky to do anything of value in legacy and modern i mean the only benefit i can see is this does allow you to almost tap out hold on to one mana and still present a threat, whether you have one or not. Uh, so, you know, that might work in certain decks, especially control decks. So I'm sure this will get a lot of testing. Maybe it will find a home somewhere. Uh, but right now I'm looking at it and it feels like a commander card more than anything to me. Now I will say the art's interesting and I'm looking forward to all the Metroid altars that will be <laughs> no doubt <laughs> part of this uh, card because obviously it's Mother Brain and all you got to do is draw Samus in there and you're pretty much done with your altar. So I'm looking forward to that. That will be cool. Uh, other than that, those are my thoughts on this card. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And hopefully we'll be getting more spoilers very soon. If we get some before Monday, of course, we will do a video and share those with you. However, definitely I would assume by Monday we should be seeing the true spoiler season begin. Now, Having said that, I kind of wish Wizards would be a little more transparent when, when this is starting. Uh, that was something that they promised when we had all the awkward leaks from Oath of the Gatewatch. So kind of hope we hear something soon. I know there will be an announcement Thursday afternoon, late afternoon by Wizards. And uh, I'll, of course, make a video and report on that as well. So maybe that will be the announcement of when we can expect more information. Having said that, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. 
Hey, thanks as always for watching. This video, like all my videos, was made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Even a donation of a dollar helps me to keep growing this community and creating better quality videos for all of you. Check out our Patreon page for exclusive giveaways and future goals for the channel. If you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the MTG news, spoilers, set reviews, product openings, or finance videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a good day.